Hey everyone, uh, how are you? Um, I am here with my Barnes & Noble Nook. Um, in this video I am going to show you guys how to soft root your Nook, which will allow you to install third-party Android applications on it. Um, I've done it myself, and it's it's pretty nifty. It, uh, it'll turn your, your Nook basically into a little kind of tablet PC like um, it does technically void your warranty with Barnes & Noble um, so if you did get the two-year extended warranty um, I don't know if you're gonna want to do this um, also as Nook devs the people who came up with this soft route says um, one don't use this for anything illegal it's not my fault if you break your Nook um, Pay for books, and also don't hack it to use AT&T's network. That's just not cool to AT&T or Barnes and Noble. Um, so right here, I have my Nook. It is sleeping right now. I'm gonna go ahead and wake it up. So I'm at a screen right now, and it's asking me which menu I want to use because I have hacked my Nook. So I'm going to go with Nook Launcher. The Nook Launcher itself looks exactly like the regular Nook screen, except for one thing. You can scroll it over, and you have a whole bunch of different options. Um, this one comes installed with the web browser Truck on it, and then I also installed Pandora, which I don't know if you can see it there. Pandora and Wi-Fi locker so what these allow you to do is several different things um, Wi-Fi locker obviously it locks your Wi-Fi to stay on so you can actually access your Nook via uh, a command prompt and install the different packages um, Pandora is obviously Pandora radio you can actually listen to Pandora radio your Pandora account why you're reading books. Pretty neat. Um, Truck is a simple RSS feed viewer. And um, now I'll go ahead and click on the web. It's actually going to open a little web browser. It's actually connecting right now to my wireless network. Um, I don't know if it's going to because my, uh, my Wi-Fi has been kind of funny lately. So I'm just going to let that sit here for a second while it says Oh, here we go. I got it. So right there is an actual web page. That's the NPR web page. Um, you can actually click the little button down here, and you can type in different addresses. It pops up, gives you a little keyboard, and it'll pretty much render any web page, and it does a very good job at it. So I'm Alan. I'll be with you guys. Um, don't hesitate to email me post questions here. Um, I'll try to help you out as much as I can. Um, so let's get to it. Hey everyone. Um, I'm here with uh, my MacBook Pro, um, but I, I'll walk you through the Windows way to do this too. Um, but it was just easier to screen record on my Mac. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to want to open up a web browser. So like I have here. Um, so just go to nookdevs.com. Nook devs are the ones that are responsible for all this. I take no responsibility for any of the uh, design of this stuff because it's all them and they did a wonderful job. Um, so when you get to the Nook devs homepage, just click on the soft root instructions and I'll put a link over in the description. Um, just scroll down the page a little bit and you'll see prerequisites right about here. What you need to do is you need to download the 1.2 modified firmware file and you also need to download the original 1.0.0 image. Um, I've already done that so I'm not gonna walk you guys through that. You just need to download both of those files. Um, you can also 
read the directions here. Um, if you don't want to watch this video, uh, they explained it very well. I just thought a video would be helpful how to do it. Um, so right here, I have the two update files. The signed Bravo update one is the original 1.0.0 firmware. Um, that you need to put on first and then downgrade your device to that. The Bravo update is the 1.2 version update, but it's the hacked version. So to get started, you also need to have a memory card in your Nook. Not just the one it came with, the two gigabytes, you also need to have a micro SD card installed. Um, when you do plug it into your computer, you're going to have two drives show up. You're going to have Nook and Untitled. Um, it should show up in your My Computer. So just go to Start My Computer and open that up. You're going to want to open up the Nook drive first. And you're going to want to sideload the Sign Bravo update right onto your Nook. So you drag and drop it right onto your Nook. It'll copy the file to your Nook and um, just do a safe eject of your Nook. Right click at the bottom right hand corner in Windows or just on, if you're on a Mac drag and drop the Nook drive to the trash can and it will eject it. And then you should see in the bottom right hand corner of your Nook it says preparing update and it should go through and update your Nook. Um, back to 1.0.0. After you've rebooted your device and you confirm that you're at 1.0.0, you're going to want to plug your Nook back into your computer, PC or Mac, and this time instead of going to the Nook drive, you're going to want to go to your micro SD card. All you do for this, open up your micro SD card. And as you see, I still have the update on there. Uh, I didn't take it off yet. So all you're going to want to do is drag and drop the bravo update.dat file right onto your other your micro SD card. Um, once you do that, you are almost ready to have it soft rooted. Um, I'm going to take my nook right now uh, and show you guys how to get it to update. All right, after you have added um, the second file to the SD card on your Nook, you're gonna need to shut it off. So just simply press the power button on the top until it, go ahead and, nope, hold on, it'll shut off. Okay, so you got, a, got your Nook here and you have that file on your Nook. Um, what you're going to want to do now is hold the button on the left side of your Nook that is pointing towards the e-ink display. While you're holding that down, you're going to want to press the power button and turn it on. But continue to hold the left button on your Nook. And it's going to come up with a screen that says checking for updates. It should anyway. So now it says installing software update. What it's doing is it's installing that update that is on your memory card. So at the bottom you should see mounting partitions and it's actually going to go through and install that modified firmware file and as you can see here in a second um, it should say uh, that it is from Nook Devs etc etc and once that is done yeah so now it says Nook Devs streamlined soft root so it's gonna go ahead and install that once it's installed um, it's going to reboot your Nook for you, and you're you're going to be all set to go. It's actually going to have applications and everything on there all set for you already. Um, it's going to have Trook, um, the web browser. Uh, you can change the menu appearance. Um, 
And then in a later video, I'm going to show you guys how to add applications over the air through a command prompt. So check back in a few days. I should, should have that up. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comment box below. Um, or send me an email. I'll post that over in the description area. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hope I was a help. And um, like I said, let me know if you guys have